fall tradition is underway in Westchester. We're talking about the great jack-o'-lantern blaze. It features thousands of carved and illuminated pumpkins. CBS 2's Elise Finch joins us live in Croton on Hudson with a preview of all the this year's new creations. Hi, Elise. <laughs> Hey, Christine. So I got to tell you, this is one of the hottest tickets in Westchester, and we are here. I have to tell you, I got a sneak peek. Things look amazing. Some of the new additions this year, well, we've got a medieval castle and a full set of zodiac signs, if you can believe it. So just a few minutes ago, they were starting to allow people in. So Carol Smith is here with her grandkids, and so many people are moving in because this is an event best seen after dark. More than 7,000 pumpkins carved into fun and spooky shapes line the wooded pathways and gardens of the historic Van Cortlandt Manor. It's a hit with visitors every year. The walkthrough experience takes about 45 minutes to enjoy, but it takes weeks to create. A team of 20 artists design and hand carve every single pumpkin, like the always popular giant spider web, sea serpent, and pumpkin planetarium. Creative director Michael Natiello tells us his favorite new design. The Dutch inspired windmill. So not only is it cool and that it's a moving windmill, but it also kind of makes reference and gives a nod to the history of the place. Now, here's another little creation that we like. Obviously, it's the CBS 2 jack-o'-lantern. And just so you know, if you're heading out here, tickets are cost between $17 and $27. It depends on the day of the week that you come. Now, it is sold out most days leading up to Halloween, but the great jack-o'-lantern blaze is open until the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and there are some open time slots starting in November. Here's another little trick. This one's important. If you become, and I want to get this right, a historic Hudson Valley premier member, you get eight free tickets to the blaze that you can show up anytime, even on a sold out night. So there's a little trick for you to get in. Of course, we're live in Croton on Hudson. With that, I'll send it back to you. Elise, did you carve that pumpkin yourself, the little CBS2 one? I, I, if I said yes, would you believe me? <laughs> I so didn't. Really oh, he's convincing. A professional. No, we were buying it there for a second, Finchie. We like it. Thanks, Elise. No.